some of the country's biggest fast food chains are playing a game of chicken, ushering in what industry experts believe could be the next battle on the fast food front lines. I have some over here that are supposed to be a prop, but I want to pick them up. We were talking about chicken nuggets. They've long been among the top sellers at places like McDonald's, Wendy's, and Chick-fil-A. But now other big chicken chains are finally dipping into the nugget market, KFC, the latest example. The company is now testing new Kentucky Fried Chicken Nuggets for the first time ever, which does seem hard to believe. I don't think these are Kentucky Fried Chicken ones, but you may remember Popeye sparked the chicken sandwich craze. That was three years ago, creating the chicken sandwich war between them and Chick-fil-A with their respective chicken sandwiches. People felt very strongly about their chicken. Now, according to industry statistics, the U.S. fast food chicken market has been growing by nearly 5% per year and is expected to draw $40 billion in revenue this year alone. Chicken is a lucrative business. Here to discuss more about the battle for chicken dominance is the editorial director of Food News Media, Danny Klein. Danny, thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, thank you for having me. All right, so I'm smelling these chicken nuggets, not a prop. These are the real thing. Is this really the new fast food battleground? You know, I, I think it's always uh, going to be the case in fast food and, and quick service in general that when you have a big brand launch something and get a lot of attention for it, that everybody is probably going to follow suit to a degree, whether it's launching their own or it's making fun of another brand's version of that, which, you know, you saw a lot with the chicken sandwich, you know, everybody from Taco Bell to, you know, KFC would come in and say ours is better. And then they would launch something similar or something not similar. And that cycle repeated itself for literally years. So with chicken nuggets, I think you're probably seeing a little bit of that now and you'll probably continue to see other brands do so. You mentioned you mentioned KFC there, but you know Boston Market is also doing that now, and they're doing so with a, kind of a rotisserie grilled product. So they're positioning that as being a healthier product, a bigger product, and that's kind of how fast food works: is that they playfully make fun of each other on social media until they continue to try to one up one another. So I think the easy answer is probably yes. You know, we'll see how it goes right. for KFC, but we'll see. I think this is not the end. Well, Danny, is this the right strategy to try to bring consumers back into these fast food restaurants? You know, particularly because a lot of people assume, you know, these are chicken restaurants. They they think that they already had this type of offering. So, so is this the right strategy? You know, in KFC's case, they're positioning it as, you know, this is going to bring in a Gen Z consumer or a younger consumer, and it allows them to take their signature product and put it in a different form, maybe one that's a little you know, more recognizable for a younger generation or even for younger families. You know, I, I had read kind of initially the idea was that bone and chicken for one reason or the other is just not a product that young consumers want. So I think it's really being looked at as two ways. You know, one, we can attract a new base with this, and then also we can still showcase kind of what we're known for. You know, in Popeye's case, when they came out with nuggets, it was really the chicken sandwich in nugget form as they positioned that. So, you know, KFC situation here, it's the same idea, which is here is our herbs and spices and classic recipe, but in a way that, you know, you haven't had before. But to your point that people probably are surprised it wasn't already on the menu. Yeah, and, and but I have to say, uh, the, the chicken nuggets here in the newsroom are certainly attracting the News Nation staffers. All right, Editorial Director of Food News Media, Danny Klein, we thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.